Hello, my name is Nuno Silva and I'm going to teach you in this first tutorial how to set up AS3 Isolib, our framework for isometric development. So what you need is to go to AS3 Isolib website. So just input this in the console and download the source code of AS3 you will then have two folders you what you use is this fp that stands for flash player 10 uh, so we use flash develop it's free and it's a awesome tool for flash development uh, to add s3 s3 easily to your um, project just drag and drop the source to your project it will look something like this you'll have all the source code that you need for your development then I'll uh, I created a, a simple example for testing uh, IS3 isolib so I'm going to run it and here it is a uh, simple isometric grid and an ISO box um, if you're not familiar with flash develop it's one thing you have to to check before running IS3 ISO lib it's go to tools program settings and check your flash viewer you'll have to have the flash player 11 or the latest version the SA debug you can download it from the Adobe website this will allow you to debug your flash project without any errors so what we have here is a ISO view it's, uh, it's simply the main container for your elements I set the size to the size of the, the window the flash window uh, ISO scene is like a, a layer uh, if you know Photoshop you know what I mean uh, you should have one of these ISO scenes for each one of your elements for instance static elements should be on a separated ISO scene your moving elements in another ISO scene and so on uh, I added the ISO grid ISO grid is simple uh, typical, typical isometric grid is useful for showing you the guidelines and the uh, ISO box is simply a rectangular uh, a cubic uh, element for for your testing I can let me just change these values and okay you'll have the ISO box in the zero zero uh, point uh, if you want to show the origin if you need of the ISO grid just set this property to true and you will have the the origin that could be helpful okay so this is a very simple tutorial how to set up IS3 ISOLIB I hope you like it stay tuned for the next tutorial